I've come back to Kenya because I wanted to see uh, Joyce's new pond and I promised her that when it was built and it was stopped that I would come back and find out exactly how it had gone and I, w I, I promised her that I'd come back and harvest the fish. Where's your daughter? How are you? Are you okay? Ten months ago when I came in October I started digging that corner so to complete the process of them finishing the pond, stocking it and feeding them for eight months. It's quite, quite amazing. That's right, shall we get in? Shall we get in? I didn't quite fully know what to expect and it's been a, a real eye-opener you know the the amount of effort and work that goes into these people's lives just to live you know is amazing the first one from the new pond look at that amazing it has totally blown all my expectations, really. You really need to see it yourself and get involved and get in the fish pond and get in amongst it just to see. It's just a small um, sort of segment of how they live. It just shows how they can build a great economy and just uh, start making their own money and trading. Farming in general is difficult uh, across the globe. Um, here in Kenya is a different story where people don't have uh, they don't have the financial means to buy equipment, they don't have machinery, they don't have any source of help from the government. See you later. Thank you very much. I'm not very good at saying goodbye. <laughs> We've been here before. So we're at the start of the Lamosho Glades route here. Let's go. Well, so I'm at my tent, so I'm going to go and have a little look. I love camping. Look. This is brilliant. This is home for the next eight days. Amazing. Oh, this is going to be great. How's it going? Good, yeah. Could not sleep. Excited to see Kilimanjaro, hopefully. This morning. Where you go? I know. No, no, no. Holy, pull it. I love it. It's beautiful. And a uh, challenge, but lovely. We've got a good group of people here. It's pretty steep. So we're going really slowly. It looks really slow, but it's, uh, it's what you got to do. It's almost, I'd say probably for every two meters you go forward, you're probably going up a meter. So 50% incline is uh, quite something. Day two, uh, it was, uh, the beginning was difficult, really steep. And um, it was non-stop really. We walked for about seven hours and uh, we are 13,000 feet. Uh, we just got to the scam. Oh. The clouds is clear and uh, we're able to see uh, Kilimanjaro and uh, it's right there. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever uh, seen in my life. It's just incredible. Uh, it's day four. Um, we're in camp now. Um, the last couple of days have been pretty tough for me in, in, uh, in respect of being scared of heights, which is pretty challenging. The, the early climb and descent really sort of shook my confidence quite a lot but I either stay here for the rest of my life or I get up the old climb. We're about halfway halfway through the difficult section oh my god can't stop uh, can't stop shaking when we get to the bad bits but uh, made it this far. He looks smashed it. Yeah, yeah he's really far up. He's, yeah. yeah doing really well. He's screaming and waving at us. Really yeah. happy for him. Yeah. I think yeah. he's uh, he's awesome actually after about one and a half hours sleep 
absolutely bricking it. So nervous about this. Um, coming up this Barranco wall. Oh my god. Done it. I honestly, I cannot explain it how <sighs> terrifying that is. I can't go up a six foot ladder. This week, um, we had some pretty extraordinary food around the table. We've got three chefs and a maitre d'. I think it's fair to say we're all pretty, pretty amazed. Very impressed, yeah. That it comes out of a little tent like this, but the food's been carried up, the cooking equipment's been carried up, and it's here quicker than we get here, and ready for when we get here. It is quite mad. So uh, we better have a little look. Yeah. yeah Guys, do a brilliant job. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it's day six. It's the evening before we go up the, to the summit. There's about anywhere between six and seven hours of climbing still to go. Quite a funny, uh, quite a funny feeling, really. You're right on the edge, pretty much most of the time, thinking, are oh, you going to make it? Are oh, you not going to make it? Now you've done all the hard work, so let's just get up there and finish it off. It was so difficult. Um, progressively, it's got more difficult and more difficult throughout the week for me. Um, and uh, this mountain is massive. It, it, it just never stops. It just keeps going up and up and up and up. You just want to cry like for about ten hours, just because it's never ending. And you're on a you're on a you're on a knife edge of emotions all the time. And it's, it's you just want to get there, but you can't give up. But you can't stand up. Absolutely. Well, training. It was one. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. A little emotional, just thinking about so many things, but uh, we made it, so really happy. Thank you for thinking of me for this experience. Really, really amazing. Just one last thing to get on there. <sighs> like the end of service. Done. It was really difficult to, to just you know, it's freezing weather, so I was not comfortable. Plus, I have a, I had a pounding headache. So it, it, it's at some points I really thought that I was wasn't gonna make it until the porter start singing, in Swahili, and that was kind of emotional. So that kept me to talk. I think all in all, we've all had a great time. It's been very, very difficult, um, but it's also been very sort of rewarding at the same time. Um, and of course, we've raised. A, a lot of money for charity at the same time.